In the first topic of the course Anatomical Terminology the following topics will be studied, structure of anatomical terms, grammar categories of nouns, dictionary forms of nouns. The anatomical term is a word or several words used to denote a definite unit or structure of the human body. So Latin anatomical terms may consist of one, two, three, four and more words. One word terms consist of one noun in singular or plural. Two word terms may consist of a noun with an adjective in singular or plural and two nouns in singular or plural. Three word terms may consist of three nouns, one noun plus two adjectives or two nouns plus one adjective. In multi-word terms several nouns and adjectives can be presented. There are three genders in Latin, masculine, feminine, and neutral. Latin nouns always have only a grammar gender, which is determined by the ending, but what is more significant, by gender signs too. These gender signs are given in the dictionaries, where nouns are presented in the so-called word or dictionary form. In Latin there are two numbers, singular and plural. The number of the noun in Latin shows whether we speak about one thing or more than one. In Latin, the indications of plural are more numerous than in English and are determined by the gender and declension. Only four case forms of Latin nouns are used in medical terms. The first two cases, nominative and genitive, are mainly used in the medical terminology, the other cases occur more early. They are used in anatomical and pharmaceutical terms in combination with prepositions. It is important to remember that each Latin noun must be learned in its dictionary form. This form consists of three components. The full form of the nominative singular. The genitive singular ending, indicating the type of declension. Definition of the grammar gender, with the letters M, F, N. The stem of the noun is essential for declining and word building. It is determined by removing the genitive ending which indicates the type of the declension. Nouns with the ending e in the genitive singular belong to the first declension, they are feminine. Nouns having the ending i in the genitive singular belong to the second declension. Nouns of the masculine gender have the ending us in the nominative. The third declension is the most numerous one. There are nouns of all genders and with different endings in the nominative having the ending, is in the genitive. The fourth declension includes nouns of the masculine and neutral gender having the ending us in the genitive. The fifth declension includes nouns having the ending i in the genitive. 